Welcome back to City Scene. A little trash talking going on today, but it's all good. And it's all about Delbert Bryant, the sanitation supervisor. How are you, sir? Hi, Steve. Good to have you back on the show. We appreciate you coming out and, and talking with us. Uh, we wanted to give everyone a, a heads up, especially folks who are new to Greenville or maybe they're new like the students, never lived out on their own. Give them some helpful information, educate them on what to do with trash, even though they may have had to take out the trash at home. but. You know, if they're new to Greenville, they don't know, right? That's true. Uh, okay. What I did was I, I brought out the trash cans here to kind of set the stage for it. And how did I do with setting them up here? Uh, Steve, they're a little too close together. Uh -oh. We need a little spacing in between them. We would like for them to be three feet apart. Okay. That so, way the uh, automated trucks can reach in and grab them without hitting anything. We don't want any obstacles close to them. Some mailboxes, fence posts, or anything. I want to have a clean open uh, collection site. Don't want to be near cars. You you'd mentioned like electrical posts, the cable TV posts that you see sometimes, and no bushes, anything like that. Because they got these grabber arms that come out, reach around, pick them up, right? That's true. Now, even if they don't have the automated service just yet, still good to get in the habit because that's rolling out through the city. That is, uh, we should be moving right along with the automation for curbside. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is you did do um, the carts right by bringing them out with the bar facing the curb. That's, That's nice. so important for us when we reach in and grab them to pick them up. Now it's, I, I notice on these, it does say kind of here, you know, put the arrows facing the street, but that's kind of hard to read. But not so much with this new thing you've got on the brand new recycling carts. That's true. On the last recycling carts, we have an Enmo label that shows you exactly what we'd like for you to do, how to place the cart, and the clearance that we desire to be around the carts. Three feet in all Three directions, directions, a big arrow pointing towards the street. Can't get much easier than that. You can definitely recycle in good company with this. Yeah, it certainly can. All right, now I also put them back behind the curb, not in the street. That's the thing to do, right? That's true. That keeps it out of the traffic and uh, is not a hazard to anyone traveling on our streets. Okay, now what if I have a big party at my house and I got a whole bunch of trash that just won't fit into here? Can I put it in a plastic bag next to that? No, we uh, would prefer that you stage it out, save it till the next week. Mm -hmm. We also encourage you to recycle what you can, which will reduce what you have in the garbage section or the garbage part of your waste. So uh, all containers should be able to close the lids and all bags should be inside of the container. Okay, now say mom and dad decided to send me a huge TV and I got a huge box, but I can't fit the box into the recycling container, the cardboard box. What do I do with that? Uh, if you have a large box, we ask that you try to cut it up and maybe put it in the container. If you have a large box, a large number of boxes, we ask that you call us and arrange a special pickup and call us here at Public Works. Okay, and you guys will come out, you'll, you'll talk about what date's gonna work best and then that way they know not to put it out too early, right? That's true, we ask that you put it out on the date we schedule for a special cardboard collection. Okay, now uh, speaking of the date for pickup, how can I find out what's my normal date for pickup when you guys are going to come by and pick up trash and recycle? Uh, that is on the website. You can check the website by putting in your street address and it will give that to you. It's also available by calling us here at Public Works at 329-4522. All right, that's nice and easy for everyone. Yes. Okay, so let's see, we got not in the street, got behind the curb. We got the bar towards the street. We got recycling, trash, three feet of room in between each of the bins and, and clearance so nothing gets picked up. What kind of things can people recycle here? Uh, aluminum cans, tin cans, mm -hmm. paper, newspaper, magazines, uh, cardboard boxes. Uh, those are the things we'd like to recycle. I like styrofoam cups. Do we recycle styrofoam here? No, we do not recycle styrofoam at this moment. We're looking for that down the road, but right now styrofoam should be placed in the garbage. Okay, but I know that once folks really start getting into recycling, they're going to notice they put more in here than they do in here. That's what we desire for everyone to do, to have more recycling than their garbage. Okay. Uh, now, what kind of containers can I have for trash and recycling? Do I have to buy the ones from the city? Uh, yes, our ordinance requires you to buy a garbage container from the city. Uh, that way we know that it is approved to work with our trucks and uh, we can service it properly. And as people get switched over to the new automated system, 
than the city is providing these recycling bins, right? Yes, we're in the second phase of uh, issuing recycling carts. Um, we have a third phase to go. Uh, we're looking forward to that. And at that point, the city should um, be completed with uh, issuing recycling bins. Outstanding. Is there anything else that I forgot about that maybe we need to include for folks? Uh, no, we just encourage everyone to recycle, everyone to have everything in the container uh, for garbage collection and the spacing is so important for us so we don't damage anything. Oh, you know what else I forgot to talk about? We kind of touched on this in the last segment with code enforcement is bulky trash. You know, people just taking stuff out of the house, especially at the end of a semester or school year, and they just dump it at the curb. So you got like sofas and all sorts of stuff out there. How do people get rid of that? They're uh, not gonna come pick it up on a regular day, right? No, no, that is something you need to schedule. But the thing is, we're set up for an occasional sofa or a mattress or so. We're not set up for the complete house at the curb we don't want that we right. we're not set up for that so you would need to call and schedule any item that won't fit in the container we'll give you a collection day and uh, you should not put it out way before that day that's right i guess the ordinance says you have to have it out six o'clock in the morning the day of service and then put the carts back behind the front line of the house by the morning of the next day right that so is correct out to the curb by six o'clock in the morning on the day of pickup and then when you come home from classes or whatever, after your guys have been by and picked up all the, the garbage, then go ahead and take your can and put it in the back. That's true. That's right, good pirates, stick it in the can, and then put the cans in the back. That's true, we don't want them left at the curb uh, longer than uh, your service day, so we'd like them moved to the back. Okay, and I also forgot about recycling electronics. You guys don't pick up the electronics, but there's a place people can take them to, correct? That's true, you can take them to the Pitt County Transfer Station on Allen Road. You can also schedule for us to pick up electronics. Ah, uh, increasing again, that customer service there, yes. that's nice. Yes. Okay, so they have to call you, what's the number they call for that? Uh, 329-4522 and schedule your electronic pickup. Okay, so scheduling for bulky trash, for electronic pickup, that kind of stuff, 329-4522. Otherwise, just look for your day of service. That's true. And stick it in the can. That's it. Delbert, thank you much. Thank you, Steve.